Hey guys, there's been a lot of confusion and questions about what is a smart shock? What is a live valve? What do they do? How does this work? And what is Fox doing on this? Can-Am systems, Kawasaki, Honda, they all have players. They all have different systems that react differently. So today what we want to do is just break down the shock and we're going to actually show you what the shock does. No theory here. We actually have our Rolex Dyno, a 4K Emma and we literally can program anything we want into this dyno. It'll replicate a track, it'll do anything. But what we're gonna do is a simple sine wave and show you live data on the screen so you can understand how smart shock works, how our live valve works, and why we choose to add live valves even to smart shocks. All right, so what we have set up here, we have two power supplies, one to control the smart shock valve, which is in the actual shock shaft, and of course the live valve, which is like a compression adjuster. And what we're gonna do is adjust each one individually and it's gonna show live on the screen. All right, so let's go and let's see what a smart shot does. Right now we're technically full step. And what we're gonna start doing is increasing the um, current to the adjuster. And as you can see, the rebound continuously is getting softer with each um, point. We usually go in uh, 0.1 um, amp increments and um, all the way to 1.2. So what you can see is a range from probably about 35 pounds rebound to about 150. But you'll notice the um, compression is uh, a very minimal change. Maybe right here we peak out at 200 and it's going to about 220. So Can-Am decided that it was better to control rebound and not the compression, which we don't exactly see eye to eye with, but it's a cool feature to have. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clear the um, screen i'm going to put the uh smart shot back to full stiff we're going to hit clear now let's go and um, go through the whole range of what a live valve does i just clicked it real quick you can go and see full soft it was making about uh, what is that about 235 full stiff we are at almost 600 pounds of force and as i go through the range of the valve you can see each increment continuously makes it softer all the way back down. Another thing I want everybody to notice is the rebound really doesn't change. It's almost the exact same. It stayed pretty consistently here at about 140. But what is cool with this is we now have full rebound control and compression control. So when you take a smart shock and add a live valve to it, now you have both ranges and a really, really tunable shock. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that this helps clear some of the confusion and answer questions of what these shocks are actually doing. Um, please check out our YouTube channel. We're gonna actually have another video coming out soon on how our actual e-click system works and how it works with either Walker Evans shocks, Fox shocks, Live Valve, Smart Shock. We have basically different programs for all of these features. So yeah, check us out, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We're gonna be doing more and more with the, all the new electronics with um, suspension coming out.